everybody army welcome back to home base i am back with another hair video i love this bobby boss unit i will have all of the information in the description and later on in the video but before we get started if you haven't already please go ahead and subscribe to my channel give this video a big thumbs up and meet me in the comments let me know if you like her and how she turned out the wig that I'm working with today is by Bobby Boss. It's a wig from their Soft Wave series. They describe them as soft textured wigs with volume. I got this in the style Rayla and the color HL613-627. This is the cap construction. Pretty standard. They didn't break any molds with this. The parting goes back four and a half inches, about a half an inch on the sides, bands in the back, combed all around. Now I'm going in with one of my favorite products for synthetic units. It is the Eben Tinted Lace Spray. It is seriously my holy grail. I got this in the color medium. Make sure you shake it well before using. Look at that can. This thing is well loved. And then make sure you have something underneath the wig and behind it to protect any surfaces. Hold the can back about three to six inches and then spray as if you're spray painting. A little trick I do is instead of just going under the lace, I also go on top of the lace. This helps to really hide that lace grid. And any excess that you get on the wig, you can wipe it off. It wipes off of hair fairly easy, especially if you get it immediately. But doing this bottom and top method really hides that grid. It works so well. And then I go back on top of this with concealer. Baby, scalp. It's giving scalp. Okay, so at this point, I would say this is what the wig looks like on, but girl, I don't know if I was having a slow day or if this wig just made me have a blonde moment. Tell me why I have the wig on all the way cocked to the side. Crooked as hell. And liking it too, low-key. Look at me thinking it was so cute. Here I am looking for the combs because I knew it had combs on the side and I can't find the combs anywhere. I'm just like, where the hell is the... I know I saw some combs. Let me look on the other side. Maybe it's on the other side. No, no comb. Okay, now what the hell is going on? And why does the part look so weird? But I am liking the curls. I am dying at me still trying to make this work. <laughs> Girl... Look, look at my face. <laughs> no, not the peace signs. Okay, so here we go. Yeah, bitch. Get, get your fucking life together. Get it together. Oh, my God. <sighs> just, a, just embarrassing. Yeah, there it goes. Come on, sis. Blonde moment indeed. Blondes have more fun because they don't ever know what the hell is going on, clearly. Found the combs. And uh, now we're cooking with grease instead of just fucking cold water. <laughs> All right, now go ahead and brush it out. Let's get these curls together. Okay, period, though. I like it already, even not brushed out. I love a good, I love a good, like, away from the face curl. You know, a good backwards curl moment? Yes. I love the way it falls right there. Mm mm, mm mm, mm. She's cute. Get into it. Yes. This wig, honestly, is not the softest. She really is not. She she really is kind of a little bit stiff. I'm not going to lie. A little bit stiff. But um, she's cute. I love the curl pattern so much. Now, let's f officially install her so we can really see what she's giving. Going in with my Eben Wonder Lace Bond Adhesive Spray. Extra mega hold. Y'all know I love this. I love Eben products. Period, Eben. You better do your big one. All right, to get started on the installation, I pull the wig all the way back off my forehead. And then I spray starting in the middle there. I like to do two, maybe three layers of spray. And then using the back of the wig card, if I don't feel like getting up and getting my hair dryer, I just uh, fan it dry and then do the touch test to make sure that it's nice and tacky. And then I pull the wig up, setting the middle down first. And then I go in on the sides again, two to three layers and using that card to dry it down or the air dryer either way just get some air on it and it'll tack up real quick and then you can put it down and then I just go in with my silk wrap to press it down I use this uh I leave it on mm, for the duration of my makeup yeah I just tie it on and I like to tie it in the front and then twist it around because I, I don't know this is just the way I do it I don't know if it's easier but it, it's what works for me so I put it on there I twist it to the back and then I adjust it as needed leave it on for the time that it takes me to do my makeup and then when I'm done doing my makeup I pull the scarf off and 
bada boom bada bam the edges are laid I'm gonna go in with some mousse and actually lay the edges edges and then brush her out and see what we're cooking with and this is how it turned out in all honesty, my final thoughts on the wig are I love the color, I love the curl pattern, but the hair itself is really dry and it's kind of stiff. And the front part you see there, they call this like the volume series. I can see why because there is so much hair right there in that front bang that makes it kind of like gives it that elevated coif look. But it is so thick there and I could not thin it out to save my life. Therefore, I could not flatten it out to save my life. Um, overall, I give this wig a 6 out of 10. I definitely wouldn't buy it again, but she was a cute moment while she was a moment. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Give this video a big thumbs up and meet me in the comments and let me know if you are loving her.